Well, it's back to class today for students in the Coatesville Area School District. And they're back in the classroom after a series of threats forced both the high school and the middle school yesterday to close. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payu joining us live from Coatesville this morning with more on that story as kids are back to school. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning, Jim Janelle. A spokesperson with the district says they've received threats in the past, but the one they got this week was specific with a device and a time. They say they take all of these threats seriously, and now the FBI is helping them look into who's behind this. People in Coldsville are reacting after bomb threats at the senior high school prompted several law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, to respond. I can't be overly cautious. You've got to take each threat seriously in this world we live in today. It's crazy out there. The Coldsville Area School District says Monday they received a safe to say message that indicated an explosive was placed in the senior high school and that it would be ignited at noon. Students were evacuated and moved to the school stadium where they were meant to wait while bomb sniffing dogs went through the campus and their personal items that were left in classrooms. The district says after about 60 minutes, a fight broke out between six students, causing chaos with the 1,400 students present. About 37 agencies were called to assist. I drive by the school every day to go to work. So when I saw the huge bully press on last, not again, not again. But when I check my email, because they're going to send email out to all the parents in the district. So I'm like, oh my God. While no one was injured and no credible threat was found in a release, the district says it canceled school for students in grades 8 through 12 Tuesday to give everyone a moment to, quote, take a breath. Darlington Jollop, whose nephews attend the school, says incidents like this are unsettling. It's not good, we got. That's the time they should be learning something, focusing something better in their life. And now you have to sit home and be thinking about what about the trail, why is something happening. The district says they expect an arrest or arrests to be coming soon. Any information about criminal charges will come from the district attorney's office. We're live in Coltsville. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jasmine.